Hello children, welcome back. Today we are going to continue decimal fractions. We are on chapter 8, exercise 8b. We have finished the first part. Now we are going to move on to the second part. So this is from question 5 onwards. So let's begin. Question 5, from the sum of 75.75 and 4.9, subtract 28.465. So what is very important is how we understand our question. So sum of means we add up these two numbers and we're going to get one answer. Okay, so that will be one. We're going to get one answer. Now the question says from this answer, from this answer, subtract 28.465. So shall we start working that out? So first thing we need to find the sum of 75. 0.75 and 4.9. So we need to add up these two. Remember, we need to make them like decimals, having the same number of decimal places. So let's add this up. 5, 7 plus 9 is 16. We carry 1. 5 plus 1 is 6. Plus 4 is 10. I carry 1. 7 plus 1 is 8. So I've got 80.65. From this sum, we need to subtract 28.465. So I need to write 80.65 first and below that 28.465. Let me subtract. Okay, first thing we need to do is make them like decimals and now let's start our subtraction. 0 minus 5 we cannot do so I'm going to borrow. So this becomes 4 and this becomes 10. 10 minus 5 is 5. 4 minus 6 again you cannot do. So I'm going to borrow from the previous number. 5 and this becomes 14. 14 minus 6 will be 8. 5 minus 4 is 1. I continue with my subtraction. 0 minus 8 I cannot do. I'm going to borrow from here. 7 and this becomes 10. 10 minus 8 is 2, 7 minus 2 is 5. So my final answer is 52.185. Question 6. Subtract the sum of 8.14 and 12.9 from 32.7. So we need to find the sum of these two numbers and subtract it from the other number. So let's find the sum of 8.14 and 12.9. So add up these two. Make them like decimals. And I'm going to bring down 4. 4 plus 0 is 4. 1 plus 9 is 10. I carry 1. 8 plus 1 is 9. 10, 11. Carry 1, 2. 21.04. So we found the sum of these two numbers. We need to subtract this answer from 32.7. So whatever comes after from to be written first. So 32.7 and below that 21.04. We're going to subtract these two. Make them like decimals and we will start our subtraction. 0 minus 4, you cannot do. I'm going to borrow. So this becomes 6 and 10. 10 minus 4 is 6. 6 minus 0 is 6. So let me write that properly. 6 minus 0 is 6. Point 2 minus 1 is 1. 3 minus 2 is 1. So my final answer is 11.66. Question 7. Subtract the sum of these two numbers from the sum of these two numbers. So we need to find the sum twice and then subtract the two answers. So let's start 34.27 plus 159.8. Your arrangement is very important. So let's make them like decimals first. So let me add a zero here. 
and start my addition. 7 plus 0 is 7. 2 plus 8 is 10. I carry 1. I can do 9 plus 1. 10 plus 4, 14. Carry 1. 5 plus 3 is 8. Plus 1, 9, 1. So I've got my first answer, 194.07. Now let me find the sum of the other two numbers. 20.937 and 200.6. So these are my two numbers. I'm going to add these two numbers because it says sum of. Now let me make them like decimals and start my addition. 7 plus 0. 7, 3 plus 0, 3, 9 plus 6, 15. I carry 1, I bring down 1, then 2 plus 0 is 2, and I write this 2 here. So I've got my second answer, my first answer and second answer. Now I need to subtract. So I put the bigger number, this is the bigger number, so I write this first and then I write this second. So 221.537 minus 194.07. So we need to subtract these two numbers. So like, fraction, like decimal fractions, because the number of decimal places were not the same, we've made it same now. Let's start our subtraction. 7 minus 0 is 7. Now 3 minus 7 I cannot do. I'm going to borrow. So this becomes 13. 13 minus 7 will be 6. 4 minus 0 is 4. I continue with my subtraction of the whole number part. 1 minus 4 I cannot do. So I borrow. 11 minus 4 is 7. 1 minus 9 again I cannot do. I'm going to borrow. It becomes 11. 11 minus 9 is 2, 1 minus 1 is 0. So my final answer is 27.467. The eighth sum. From the sum of, again we find the sum of these two numbers, subtract the sum of these two numbers. So we have to add up these two. So sum of means addition. So let's start with the first part. 2 0.43 plus 4.349. Okay, so we need to add up these two, make them like decimals. Now start our addition 0 plus 9, 9, 3 plus 4, 7, 4 plus 3, 7, 2 plus 4, 6. Now let's find the sum of the other two numbers. 0 0.8 and 3.15. Addition. Now make them like decimals. 0. Now do the addition. 0 plus 5, 5. 8 plus 1, 9. 0 plus 3, 3. Now I've got two answers. I have to subtract from the bigger number. So this is a bigger number. 6. Point 799. So let's write that down. 6.779. Yes, it's 779 minus 3.95. Make them like decimals and start the subtraction. 9 minus 0 is 9. 7 minus 5 is 2. Now 7 minus 9 we cannot do, so I'm going to borrow from here. 17. Now it becomes 17. 17 minus 9 is 8. And 5 minus 3 is 2. So what's my final answer? 2.829. Question 9. By how much does the sum of, again we have sum of, that means we need to add these two. How much does this sum exceed the sum of these two. So whenever you see this word exceed, remember it is subtraction. They are asking you by how much is this answer more than that answer. Exceed means more. So we need to subtract. 
So first, let's add up the first set of numbers. 18.0495 plus 34.34.9644. Let's add it up. 5 plus 4 is 9. 9 plus 4 is 13. That's 1. I can do 6 plus 4 is 10, plus 1 is 11, I carry 1. 9 plus 1 is 10, I carry 1. 8 plus 1 is 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 1 plus 1 is 2, 3, 4, 5. Let's find the sum of the next two numbers. 7.675. Plus 24.876. Okay, first let's make them like decimals. So here I've made it, I've put a zero, they become like decimals. Let's do our addition. 2 plus 0, 2. 5 plus 6 is 11, carry 1. 7 plus 1 is 8. 8 plus 7 is 15, carry 1. 6 plus 1 is 7. 7 plus 8 is 15. Put a carry 1. Don't forget to put the point. 7 plus 1 is 8. 8 plus 4 is 12. Carry 1. 2 plus 1 is 3. So I've got two answers. Now I need to subtract the two. Look for the greater number. 53 is greater. So I'm going to write that first. So 53 point zero one three nine minus thirty two point five five one two so let's subtract these two nine minus two is seven three minus one is two one minus five we cannot do we need to borrow from the previous number but that's a zero so i'm going to go to the previous number so that becomes 2, this becomes 10. Now I'm going to borrow from here. So this becomes 9 and this becomes 11. 11 minus 5 is 6. 9 minus 5 is 4. Put the decimal point. 2 minus 2 is 0. And 5 minus 3 is 2. So my final answer is 20.4. Six two seven. That means the first sum exceeds the second sum by twenty point four six two seven. What least number must be added to eighty nine point three seven six to get thousand? What should I add to this to get thousand? For that, we need to subtract these two numbers. Now suppose I give you an example and I say, what should I add to 4 to give me 10? What should I add to 4 to give me 10? So I want to know this. What will I do? I will subtract these two. 10 minus 4 is 6. So if I put 6 here, do I get 10? Yes, 4 plus 6 is 10. Okay, similarly to what should I add to this to get 1000, I subtract 1000 and the other number. So let's do that. 1000 is a whole number. Remember, for a whole number, the point is after the number and I'll put a zero. Below this, I'm going to write 89.376. So 89.376. Okay, now I'm going to subtract these two, but before I subtract, I need to make them like decimals. A zero here and a zero here. Now let's start our subtraction. Zero minus six. I cannot do. I need to borrow. So we need to go all the way to one. So one becomes zero. Ten. I'm borrowing from ten so it becomes nine. This becomes ten. I'm borrowing from here. Becomes nine. Ten. Again I'm borrowing. Nine. 10, 9, 10, 9, 
10. The last one remains as 10. 10 minus 6 will be 4. 9 minus 7 is 2. 9 minus 3 will be 6. Put the decimal point. 9 minus 9 is 0. 9 minus 8 is 1. Then I have 9 and the last one is 0. So which is the least number that must be added to 89.376? The least number that should be added to 89.376 to get 1000 is... 910.624 So my final answer is 910.624 So with that we come to the end of exercise 8b. Our next video will be on decimal fractions exercise 8c. Thank you children.